today, solid state drives are a fast, dependable storage medium for high performance workloads. However, this wasn't always the case. Like any emerging technology, there were many bumps along the way to SSD maturity. Pogo not only followed this evolution closely, we fought in the trenches, supporting early adopters and providing feedback to manufacturers along the way. We decided in honor of launching our latest SSD platforms, we would take a look at what it took to get to this point and give an idea of just how far SSDs have come. When looking at the SSD timeline, from our perspective, it naturally breaks up into distinct time periods. For the sake of simplicity, we will skip over what we'll call the Stone Age and jump directly to the Bronze Age that started with the launch of the Intel X25 in 2008. The Bronze Age. When SSDs first became available, there were great expectations. It's hard not to get excited about a device that moves at the speed of NAND and has no moving parts. The problem is, from a practical standpoint, the first SSDs just didn't live up to all the hype. Yes, they were fast, but in reality, they showed the limitations of adopting what was thought to be mature technology to a different purpose. In addition, the first drives were also very small and had limited write endurance. 32 gigs was a large capacity SSD, and running a drive full tilt would burn it out in a matter of months. Not only that, it might be assumed that a solid state drive would translate into greater reliability. The reality was traditional hard drives still had lower failure rates. Though there were definitely diamonds in the rough, generally only hardened early adopters dared tread. The Iron Age. Once the dust settled from the Bronze Age, the Iron Age of SSDs began. Like any new technology, things moved quickly. Faster, more stable products were quickly becoming available. The problem is that too many products were entering the market. Some good, some bad, and some downright ugly. Also, users were still struggling to understand the ins and outs of SSDs. Common questions still remained. How do I know how much write endurance I need? What about trim support? Do I need MLC or SLC based drives? What kind of real-world performance can I expect? At this time, high write endurance drives are still really expensive, making them hard to justify where they excel most, such as in online transaction processing and database workloads. Even some of the enterprise options exhibited write clips and other odd behavior. Things were getting better, but it was still the Wild West. Today. That brings us to today. After a bunch of consolidation in the market, a few key things have happened. First, the NAND manufacturers have finally figured out how to make a solid state drive that acts like a traditional enterprise hard drive. Up to this point, there were always small issues with SATA SAS protocols, write cliffs, smart support, etc. Now drives have solid protocol support, advanced garbage collection, and more consistent performance. These features have brought SSDs out of the early adopter phase and into the mainstream. Second, advances in EMLC NAND technology replacing costly SLC NAND has dramatically reduced the price while also raising the capacity of high write endurance drives. Today, some drives have write endurance of over 30 full writes per day and capacities up to four terabytes. Third, the price per gigabyte of NAND continues to drop, making SSDs even more affordable every day. With these trends, we now consider SSDs to be a mature technology, albeit one that continues to evolve rapidly. The future. What does the future hold for SSDs? Well, the sky's the limit. Year to date, 31% of all disk drives Pogo has shipped have been SSDs. That's a huge jump from the single digits just three years ago. Continued reductions in cost per gigabyte, along with increasingly faster and more resilient drives, keep driving their adoption. Will SSDs supplant HDDs for high capacity applications? That's probably still ways off, but you never know. It could happen sooner than you think. Thanks for watching. 
For more great content and the complete SSD story, please visit our YouTube channel or visit www.pogolinux.com slash blog. Thank you.